I see Jack. Jack goes to work. Jack's a man. Men are good providers. Bye, Jack. Breakfast time. Don't be late. On time. Healthy breakfast means a healthy start. Healthy day. Top of the morning to you. What the crap, George? <laughs> What's so damn good about it? My lady, we're about to eat from the finest restaurant in the land. You're an idiot. We're about to dig through a damn dumpster. Ooh. scored three pancakes and some sausage. Solid gold, as I said. That's a beautiful morning. A beautiful morning would include coffee in a cup, not half-eaten cold pancakes. Well, fair enough, milady. But I see that you're taking some food with you, so I, I think you got your appetite back. Yeah, I have a little help from my fakey legal drugs. Pie <laughs> <laughs> isn't as good, but it keeps me straight. Hey, hey get out of there! Whoops. Party's over. I lost my diamond ring, you asshole. There'll be a table if we hurry. Ah. Time to go. Go, now. No, not for me, boys. I've been clean for one week. I'm gonna see if that place on Kedzie can help me get a bed. Ha, 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 well. What a luck in your life. Ha, 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 And oh boy, yeah. Looks like sausages, scrambled eggs, maybe two pancakes with syrup and bacon, I think. Don't matter, Vince. It's all going to the same place. <laughs> train this morning? Every morning, on time, he makes the train. Mm. Men go to work, men are good providers. Train doesn't wait. All aboard, doors closed. <laughs> good, good, good. <laughs> mm. So, y'all, uh, I stopped by the old Milwaukee clinic last night. Did you know they turned it into a nightclub? I used to go there once a month on Tuesdays, see Dr. Granger, Dr. Granger, Dr. Granger, first Tuesday of the month. He wore a brown coat. How's it going, Vincent? How are you feeling? How's your appetite? Take one pill after breakfast every morning. Jeez, Vince, I'm sorry. I did not mean to upset you. I just thought it would be of interest. Vince. I got to go. Time for bath. Oh, hold on, Time I to clean up. Me at the pantry. No, just, you know, why don't you go over to the spot over there near the No, no. Gotta go. Vince, Vince. Gotta go. Vince! Wait. I forgot. I found this. I thought of you.
gotta go. Bathroom. Thank you. Gotta go. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. He doesn't have a home or a family. He needs to get a job so he can take care of himself like a real man. Men get jobs. Men are good providers. Men are always on time. Men get jobs. Men are good providers. Men are always on time. Good providers. Cindy Ehrlich? Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, yes. Yes, ma'am. Follow me. I see here you need help with addiction and housing. Yeah, I want to see about getting into that women's rehab up on Kedzie. I hear they have uh, single rooms, three meals a day, and Books. good treat. You'd have to get on the waiting list, and it's at three months right now. But in three months, it's going to be winter, and I need help, like now. Miss Ehrlich, are you currently using? Nope. I've been clean one week. With a place, maybe I can, um, Go back to school and get uh, get a job or something. Well, we can see about getting you into a day program, and after a month, you can apply for the low-income housing apartments. Are you pregnant? What? <laughs> no. <laughs> Are you a U.S. veteran? <laughs> Do I look like a stupid soldier? Miss Ehrlich, I am only following protocol. Sorry. Have you ever been convicted of a felony? Um, what? Have you ever been convicted of a felony? Yeah, but it was like eight years ago and I, I didn't know that using someone else's ID was a class three felony. Why are you putting that away? Having a felony stops the application process, Miss Ehrlich. Stop back after a couple months to check on the wait list for the Kedzie Clinic. Wait, what? A dumb mistake I made eight years ago stops my application? You have a prior felony in the past 10 years. You don't qualify for low income. You're fucking kidding me! Here is a this list is fucking of bullshit. drug treatment day programs. No! You can get a reusable tote, has non perishables and high hygiene products um, on the table on your way out. Well, I don't have nothing except this sad-ass book bag. What the hell am I gonna do with canned vegetables? I don't make the rules. I need a place to live. A dumb mistake eight years ago is gonna stop me. Miss Ehrlich, you must calm down. I can barely stay clean for a week, okay? Every day is a living hell, and now I have to hear this bullshit! Now, you need to leave, or I will call the police. Oh, you bet your sweet ass I'm leaving. Screw you! Screw this whole stupid ass place! Pretty boy. Saving for his special shoes. Very Stop it, Sue. Feet. I have flat feet and it hurts bad. <laughs> pretty girl. Pretty girl. Stop it, Sue! Girl. Stop it! How don't you do Stop that? It. Has anybody seen Cindy around? She had an appointment with some people. Oh, they don't want to tell you, big man. But your little girl, Cindy, she's back to her old ways. Wait, what? Yeah, I saw her. 
She got into a nice car. She had on a short, short skirt with those skyscraper heels. <laughs> Cindy is turning tricks. All right, George. Maybe, maybe she was getting a ride from a friend. Yeah, right, a friend. Short skirt and high heels. Says it all. All right, whatever. Get around yet. Oh, the artiste. He's in his studio. It's a frickin' weirdo. Hey, buddy. How's that fancy mask? Don't look. Oh. Private. I know, I know. I would not want to invade you like that. Got work to do. Day after tomorrow. Big time. Don't want to be late. Late is for losing. You are definitely not a loser, my friend. Any idea when the deadline is? Day after tomorrow. I need to get more done. Finished. Latest for losers. losers. Yep, I know. I know. Seen Cindy today? Not yet. Is she late? No. I just wonder. You go ahead. Finish your work. Don't want to be a late loser. You know how this works, folks. Take what you can carry. We gotta clean this area. Hey! Hey! Don't touch our ship! I will take you out, man! Oh, yeah? What makes you think you got any rights? Did you ever read the Constitution? Yes, yes. Give us a minute, sir. We, we just woke up. Sir, huh? Yes. Hey, I like that. Listen, we got three more camps to clean before 10 o'clock. You all need to get your trash and move on. Oh, it's trash. Because we're trash, huh? Randy! Maybe a, a little cigarette break first, friend? All right. Yes. You've got five minutes. Thank you. Take what you can carry. The rest is garbage. All right. Let's go. Time Come to on. go. Gotta go. On, Take what you can carry. Hurry, hurry. <laughs> the train's coming soon. Go. Come on. Sandy! She didn't come back. George, Cindy didn't come back last That's night. That's okay, buddy. We'll take her back. Jill, she, she can get a new blanket. We didn't protect her. Men protect their families. I know, I know. 
I think maybe Cindy, she's tricking again. I mean, somebody saw her out on the street no, the other day. No, she wouldn't do that. She was D-O-N-E. She cleaned up. She, well, she maybe they won't the at the women's place. We'll see if she comes to breakfast. No! Come on! Hey! Hurry up! All right, folks. Time's up. Take what you can carry. Thank you. The rest is Come on, let's time. go. Move it. No, Cindy. Don't want to talk. I know, I know. It's upsetting, but it, it bothers me too. Got work to do. Need to be finished tomorrow. Hmm. Hey, I know you have work. Maybe we could look for Cindy tonight. What? Yeah, tonight. Maybe, maybe. Maybe we could find Cindy. She's a good girl. <laughs> Men take care of their family. Hmm. She said, I want to be clean, Vin. I don't want to do that old stuff no more. Yeah, I She know. said that. I know, Vince, but sometimes people, they fall into their old ways again. Maybe at the new camp. We'll look for Cindy tonight. OK. That's a good plan, George. I got to go to work now. Okay. Tomorrow's my deadline. OK. Bye, George. Tonight, we find Cindy. Uh. What if we can't find Cindy? Well, the way I see it, Vince, we can only hope for the best. I mean, we can't tell anyone what we want them to do. So if she wants help, we are there for her. Hmm? Talk to us right now. Cindy! We are here! What you yelling at, you losers? You gotta pay to play. Understand. She saw us. We were trying to help her. Buddy, she doesn't want our help. But she she said that she didn't want to do that stuff anymore. She told us. I know. Remember? I know, but sometimes people change their minds, especially when life gets hard. Come on. Let's head home. People like us. No say. Things change. Unfortunately, people like us. No more Dr. Granger. No more. Nope. No more. Wait! Oh, Vince. You don't have to do that. I trust you, George. <laughs> You're my friend, <laughs> my family. Buddy, this is, it's beautiful. 
And you made that out of old street stuff. It's... It's breathtaking. People don't see the beauty in the trash. They just walk over it all day and all night. Just like us. Just like Cindy. You said a whole mountain of truth, my friend. A mountain. your meds again, aren't you? Where, where have you been? No one knew, you were just gone. And God, it has been two fucking years. No one knew, I told you. I told you, Betsy and I, we would have taken care of you when you lost your job. We would have taken care of you and you Jeff, just follow left. me. Look, I know, I know when the clinic closed and you lost your job, it was rough, okay? But what the hell? We looked for you, we asked your friend. No one knew where I'm you were. Man. Men gotta figure it out. I can't come live with you. Because then you're not a man, right? That means you're not a man. Jack, stop. I made something. It took a long time. Finding special pieces. George helps me. I made it for this special day for her. Who's George? Who the hell is George? And what do you mean? You remember. You can give it to her today on her birthday. Maybe you can hang it up in her room. It's, it's got sharp edges up high out of reach. Live on. 